this week on Real Housewives of Denmark. So, we finally made it to Denmark. I'm tired, I'm hangry, and I really do not feel like dealing with the king right now. I need you to do me a favor and make sure we still have permission from the king to cross Denmark. Do whatever you have to do to make sure we have permission, but please make it quick because I want the coffee. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, if I could, I'd just cross. But I don't need any more drama in my life, so I guess it has to happen. Excuse me. <laughs> Whose army is this? Hup, two, three, four, march and four, Norway. They're from Norway. And why are they here? Honestly, the audacity. I don't know who these people are or what they want, but they really just came here and made themselves comfortable. They came to invade Poland. I really need to speak to a manager about this. Who's in charge here? The king of Norway's nephew, Portugal. This boy and all his questions. So they're gonna attack Poland, Poland? Well, the T is. Piece of land they're fighting for, I would not even pay five dollars to have that as farmland. It's worth nothing, honestly. It will benefit either country. Thanks for the information. Anyways, can we go now, sir? I swear they've been talking for years. Let's go. Just go on without me. Everything around me reminds me of revenge. What is a person if all they do is eat at Nobu and post pictures on Instagram? Nothing but another Instagram model. If it is distractions or overthinking with one part wisdom and three parts fear, I do not know. But I still say I have to do this instead of actually doing it. I have the motivation, the determination, and the money. It is as obvious as Kylie Jenner's lip implants that I have to do this. Look at these soldiers, led by a young man blinded by his ambition. He is risking life and death for land worth less than a Starbucks coffee. To be great is not only to fight for great reasons. It means you'd fight over a parking spot if your honor was at stake. But where do I stand? My father was killed, my mother was taken, and I let these things pass by me. I watch in shame as 20,000 men prepare to die for nothing more than an illusion. They will find their graves like beds if there's even enough space to bury them all. From now on, if I do not think of revenge, I do not think of anything at all. What will happen next? Will Fortinbras ever get his coffee? Will Rosencrantz and the captain ever be seen in the same room together? Will Hamlet get his revenge? Find out next week on Real Housewives of Denmark.